All right, guys, welcome to a, another game. We were playing a team we haven't beat before yet. The closest we got was 3-2, then it was 2-0, and then last week we played them, but I wasn't here, and we got killed 9-1. I'm trying out a new composite today. You guys keep telling me that they're good, so I'm gonna try it out. I didn't buy this, I actually found it a long time ago, just never used it. And uh, it's also a little bit shorter. Some people said that I used too tall of a stick. So this is a 26 inch paddle. I'm used to a 27. So we'll see how it is. Watch your front. One thing about this stick, there's no knob on it. I was gonna tape a knob on before the beginning of the game, but I just didn't have enough time. So I gotta be careful on those poke checks. Now, I haven't played in two weeks, and the last week I did play, I was actually a player. All right guys, today we are doing a scrimmage, and as you can tell, I'm in player gear. It was a shinny game, which I haven't posted yet, but when I do, you guys will see me as a player. One of my guys was like, you kind of look like McDavid. Definitely don't have his hands though. Now I was doing some research on sticks because I was curious, I'm like, what size stick do I actually need? And the way we used to measure as goalies was where was the stick when we were standing up? But nowadays, most stick saves are made when you're actually in your butterfly. So what they say is you should actually measure it based on your butterfly rather than when you're standing up. Composites are a lot louder when you hit them against the ice. It's good when letting your defenseman know that there's a guy floating. You got it, you got it. I got that with my skate there. bounce off a few of us. All right, so on that one there, it was just shot towards the net, bounce. I think it hit a couple players actually, and then it went in. I thought I had it five hole, but I think it bounced left, either over my left pad or just went in left side. In front, boys, in front! Oh! I'm not gonna admit this out loud to my team, but I am exhausted. Two weeks off is not good. Whew. Yeah, move him, move him. All right, on that one there, guys. I knew it was on his backhand and I had a feeling he was gonna try to go glove side, but he put it in top shelf blocker side, so. It's a good shot. I wasn't square 100% though, that's for sure. On that one there, I was just down in the corner post there, pulled it out, I just couldn't get over. 
and put it in the uh, open net there. So far, I'm kind of liking this smaller stick. I don't, I haven't noticed a big difference. It is lighter for sure, being composite. Um, but yeah, I haven't felt like I can't do what I normally do. I think I kind of like it actually. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, we got 15 minutes, two goals down. We get one quick one here. We're right back in it. Who's in front here? Who's in front, boys? We got 148 left on the clock. We're down by two. Here, here, here. Take a look, take a look. Some people think when I count those as shots that they shouldn't count because I guess they're outside the blue line. But the one thing when I've researched how to calculate shots, it's any puck that would go in the net if it wasn't for the goalie stopping it. So even if the shot is down from their red line and it's a little light saucer going towards the net if it goes in it's a goal and if i stop it it's a shot slash and a save oh no this camera died nice try boys nice try nice try yeah hey, man i don't know if we're shaking the rest of your hands i'll shake your hands i don't care good game guys man good game man good game good game good game Good game, man. Nice goal. Wait, where'd you play? Uh, I used to play AAA, but that was about it. God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys. So the fire looks like there's some stuff on my lens here. All right. So that was an interesting game. Close. We ended up losing 4-2. It was tight. 
Made a couple good saves, a lot of shots, but overall it was a great game. I had fun. That's all that matters. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like if you haven't yet. See you guys next week.